You abandoned the Republic and defied my alliance. You've dishonored the Havoc Squad name. I can't trust you. Still no word from Major Jorgen or Kaleo. Everything within a kilometer of the spire has been locked down. No signal gets in or out of that zone. I warned you that Gemini frequency mission was dangerous. If they're alive, it won't be for much longer. If they're dead, so be it. We still need to sabotage the Eternal Fleet, and the Gemini frequency is our best chance. We can't get anywhere near the Spire without fighting every defender on Zakul. We don't have the forces for that. I'll alert you the moment I hear anything, but until then, we're just wasting time here. We could all use a break to regroup. That includes you, Theron. I'm too tired to argue. Oh, almost forgot. Hilo Viz asked to see you, Commander. Wouldn't say why, but it sounded important. Hey, Commander, got a sec? What's on your mind? We're doing our best to keep the supply lines running, but most of the people I deal with aren't exactly philanthropists. We can't keep running this thing on goodwill and borrowed credits. Aren't you supposed to be handling that? What do you think I'm doing now? But look, I didn't just come here with complaints. I know a guy with a habit of showing up when someone's in need. He's reached out with an offer we can't really refuse, much as I might want to. You should meet him. With that kind of recommendation, how can I say no? I know, I know. We've got history. The only thing to trust about him is that he can do what he promises. Hear him out. Come on. Well, this has been an interesting diversion, but I think it's time to wrap things up. I call. I know a Sith that's pleased with herself when I see one. I fold. So soon? Must be quite a hand. Let's see it. You discarded every chance you got, and never locked a card the whole round. The odds are astronomical. You cheated. Yeah, even if I did, you sure the old boss of Sith intelligence wants to admit some shifty alien got the better of her? Wasted no time turning the card table into a graveyard. It's my preferred method of execution. Commander, the most untrustworthy scoundrel I know. Untrustworthy scoundrel, the Commander. She never was big on formalities. Galt Renault, at your service. I haven't got a lot of time or patience. Why are you here? Oh, I think you'll make a little of both for this. The Eternal Empire spent the last five years pillaging every world in the known galaxy. Now, how'd you like to turn all that plundering into a profit for you and yours? I'm listening. I happen to know where they're keeping all that ill-gotten gain. Better yet, I've got a surefire plan to steal it right out from under their noses. I just need the help of a few talented, tough customers to see it through. Stealing for financial gain doesn't generally sit right with me. Think of it as the rightful reclamation of wealth stolen by Arkin in the first place. You'd be striking a real blow to his war effort. Ever heard of the Gilded Star? I'll stop you there. You haven't. It's one of the Eternal Empire's most tightly guarded secrets. A floating treasury circling the depths of a massive gas giant. The ship and the buried treasure all wrapped up into one neat little package. Well, maybe not little. By my estimation, it's the greatest sum of wealth gathered in one place since the Hut Empire was a thing. So, you in? Attempt to cheat me, and you will regret it. Briefly. So, the standard arrangement. 
When you're ready to get this show on the road, we'll be heading to Vanden to lay some groundwork. Looking forward to this, partner. There she is, Vanden. Mind the ledges when you're walking around unless you fancy a death by scenic view. You haven't mentioned why we're here. Giant barge, full of money, is this ringing any bells? It's out there somewhere, swimming below sight and scan range. Something about the magnetism here plays havoc with sensors and cheap fillings. Bottom line is, we'll never find the Gilded Star out there, which is all the more reason to get our preparations underway. such as picking up the last member of our illustrious crew. How many people are we going to need? Half a dozen, give or take. This is the last one unaccounted for. You should be in a warehouse not far from the dockyards. I'll point out the place when I see it. So, this plan I mentioned? It's going to take the best identity forger this side of the galaxy to pull off. Uh, problem is, he's been in hiding, specifically in that, for a long time. He probably won't be too thrilled to have visitors. Especially not visitors who had his safe house shipped a few thousand parsecs unannounced. Be on your toes. I think I can handle a grimy hermit. Just don't kill him, or the only thing getting washed is the plan. Stretcher, is it? They always say retirement's a good time to travel. Why don't you come and check out the new scenery? Tiresias! You've got a lot of nerve showing your ugly mug to me again! Tiresias? Just a name I carried around for a while, no use to anybody now. I think you've got me confused for someone else, friend. Name's Galt Renault. Got a business proposition I think you'll want to hear about. Well, you can't play dumb with me, Ty. I know that face better than you do. Galt tells me you're the best identity forger in the business. We could use you. I've had enough of helping that fraud fake his own death. This time, it's gonna stick. A little gift for your hospitality. You can mail or just about anything these days. Oh, come on! That's not how this was! 
Still can't roll with the punches. Mm, you perfectionist types never learn. There's no such thing as a sure thing. Why are we trying to recruit someone who wants to kill you? He's the one with the crutch! After I made that body double, he went to swindle half of Norshaga in my name! Because Dretcher is literally the only one I trust to pull this off. It's taken everything I know to stay hidden in this little prison. Every time I start to think I can leave, someone snitches on my new identities. That's true. So maybe I encourage Dretcher's early retirement. This little box is cozier than a coffin and a better place to reflect on how stupid trying to blackmail me was. But hey, ancient history, am I right? I'm more than willing to forget about our past disagreements if you do one more job for me. <laughs> He's asking. I'm telling. You're going to help us with a heist, or I'm going to rip you out of there and beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> There's 25 layers of durasteel and cortosis between you and me. We'll both be dead of old age before you make good on that. It's true, we might never get into that safe room of yours, but I'm sure this sonic amplifier I brought will have an interesting effect on the contents. So unless you want to spend your final moments being shaken to death by the dulcet tones of the Kashyyyk Life Day Choir, I would reconsider. Sit tight, Dretch, and get reacquainted with the concept of hygiene. We've got one more stop to make before we get to the fun part. Punctual, gentlemen. Glad you could make it all this way. No trouble acquiring my little request, I take. <laughs> it's here. You got our money? Of course, friend, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask to see the goods first. Satisfied. What do we possibly need a missile for? Just the important part, really. You got our money? About that. I was really thinking we should renegotiate the price. You know, seeing as I don't need the whole missile. Yeah, I thought you might feel that way. Launch sequence initiated. Target acquired. Total atomic dispersal in T minus one minute. You, you son of a. Make it stop! Nah. I could have just killed them. Let's panache. T minus 55 seconds. Warhead primed. Suffering index set to maximum. You're gonna pay for this! <laughs> Suckers. Abort sequence aborted. No stopping me now! Ah, what did she do to this thing? Come on, come on, it's not responding!
Are there any circuits you could cut? Oh, sure. Dozens. Got any ideas which ones? Tampering detected. Emergency detonation in five seconds. Nice try, jerks. Now, I cannot tell if she did a terrible job rewiring this or too good a one. Three. Oh, so close. Two. I can't wait. One. I didn't... but I thought you were... Oh, fancy seeing you here. Oh, good, you know each other. Saves me the trouble. Did you get the warhead, or were you too busy practicing your lines? Yes, I got it, Grumpy Pants. Though I guess those lizard brains will have figured out nothing's exploded by now. I'll see if I can't distract them. Time to make ourselves scarce. We'll see you back at the hideout. Toodles! If you're still wondering why you're here, it isn't to check out the Tabana gas bars. There's a stealth cruiser loaded with more precious metals than a hut's taste in art hiding down in the lower atmosphere, and it's about to come up for air. And while the Gilded Star is roosting at the Skyhook for its annual resupply, we're going to rob it blind. How do you even know about that? A little bird told us. I speak stool pigeon. Even if you do know where it's going to be, it's got a full military complement on board, and a vault that could survive the ship being reduced to atoms. Most people would consider it impregnable, but we aren't most people, are we, Senya? You do seem to know a lot about our target. Yes, well, I should. Overseeing the Gilded Star was among my duties when I still served Valkorion. Then you are privy to its operational protocols. I doubt they're still the same. You don't have to run the thing. Just get Scorpio to the ship's control center. There's no way we could infiltrate that far into the ship undetected. Oh, maybe, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure High Justice Valen can go wherever she pleases. So what? We get her permission. Who needs her permission when you can be her? We've got the best identity doctor this side of the galaxy, and as close to a genetic match as we're gonna get. I could never match Valen's gene sequence like that. Although, maybe simulating data corruption in her ID... And create enough doubt to bluff her way through. Dear old mom can manage that, right? Once Valen and her attache droid are on board, they head to the bridge, seize control of the ship, and allow the rest of us to do our parts. Like cracking the vault. It isn't controlled by the network, so I've got to get into the guts of the ship to reach the mechanism. I'll need your help. Meanwhile, Lana and Theron will bridge airlocks with a tanker transport I've secured for the goods. How are we going to carry an entire treasury's worth of loot out of the vault before anyone catches on? Oh, we won't be carrying anything out of the vault. Into, that's another story. Remember how Senya mentioned the vault could withstand everything outside being vaporized? The same applies to what we're setting off inside. The warhead. Exactly. I'll be pulling up the rear with a disintegration bomb. Once it's done its job, we pump the atmosphere into the waiting tanker and make our escape. Because everything up to this point has been so simple. I don't know, running seems pretty straightforward to me. Once that sucker explodes, the crew's going to notice. Everybody's just going to have to hightail it to the transport before they catch on. Now, since we've got less than a day before the Gilded Star rolls into port, I suggest everybody get real familiar with their part. Sorry about the prank earlier. If I'd known you were here, or, you know, alive, I'd have held off. But I finally got him. I hope you'll be taking the task at hand more seriously. There doesn't seem to be room for error. Don't you worry about me. I'll be the best living lockpick you've ever seen. Still hard to believe you're really here. It's been, what, five years since we went after your old boss? Did you get conked on the head real good? Amnesia, maybe? 
locked in a block of carbonite with nothing but my dreams to pass the time. That's, uh, pretty bad. But better than dead, right? Were the dreams good, at least? Lots of cowering masses and Imperials marching? That's my best guess. Those things are only found in dreams these days. Ah, uh, now that you're back, I'm sure you'll have the whole galaxy quaking in terror in no time. If you thought the Sith were treacherous before, you should have seen it after you and Mar disappeared. I didn't have much reason to stick around once you were gone. So I left them to their infighting before the Eternal Empire rolled in. I... hope you don't mind. You found safety. That's what's most important. There were some bumps along the way, but throwing in with Captain Shifty was one of my better moves. Don't tell him I said so. I should start warming up for this gig. We'll catch up again soon. This is close enough, and there's the Gilded Star, just like I promised. Expecting shinier. Gold plated and stealth ship don't exactly line up. Now we just have to hope Mommy Dearest remembers her daughter's birthday. I can kill you from here, Gold. Great, really getting into the spirit of your character, at least from what I hear. Shut up. We are approaching the checkpoint. No further communications are warranted until the bridge is under our control. Roger, break a leg, ladies. It's in their hands now. All we've got to do is wait. So how did you manage to fleece Lana at cards anyway? You've got a pretty good handle on all that Force nonsense. What would you do if you were at the Sabak table? Crush your feeble throat and claim the prize. Reassuring. I'll remember that when we're dividing shares, pal. I could tell Lana was trying to peek inside my head, so I just made sure she got an eye full. The angry glares she flashed were easier to read than anything I was doing. As for the rest, well, trade secrets, you know. Come on, we're partners now. No secrets between us. When I've got enough credits to buy half the galaxy, maybe we'll talk. I am now in complete control of the Gilded Stars network. I will isolate the vessel's sentinels to the best of this system's ability. Showtime! Okay, I ought to be able to reach the vault mechanism along this route. Keep clearing a path for Galt, and I'll see you soon. I really, really hope they check for Minox. Are you sure those schematics were scaled in meters? I can hardly move. My last partner didn't complain nearly this much. Your last partner was crushed to death. And never once complained about it. Okay, vet, I'm here. Just give me a sec. Time's a factor. Hey, you want to cut through a foot of cortosis and steel while hanging upside down in a half meter crawl space? There. Jerk. Try it. The moment of truth. I've been rich, filthy rich, but nothing like this. Counting the zeros on a balance sheet can't even compare. There's just something magical about the real thing. Stop drooling and help me set this charge. I'll be sure to tell Scorpio to suck the joy out along with the goods. It won't look nearly as impressive in a second, but it'll spend all the same.
Do the honors. Let's see how much Arkham enjoys this. Payload's delivered. It's time for the pay dirt. We're in position. Extending umbilical. Seal is tight. All green. Airlock disengaged. Awaiting order for depressurization. Door is open. Commencing depressurization. Tank is filling. So far, so good. It will take approximately 10 minutes, 17 seconds to siphon the space of that volume. Plenty of time to make our exit. Great. Let's blow this joint. You enjoy doing that, don't you? Maybe a little. A lot. What good is being sneaky if you can't make a great entrance? It is unlikely the detonation went unnoticed. After we vacate the bridge, I will no longer be able to maintain a complete lockdown. See? Perfectly justified acquisition. Come on, I want to try this thing out. Just scramble the systems as best you can and leg it to the tanker. We'll see you there. We're at capacity. Scorpio and Senya are on board. What's the situation? We're keeping them busy on our end, but I don't think we're any closer to reaching you. Scorpio, do you still have any access to the blast doors? Only through direct input. Great. Just bug out before anyone notices you buzzing around. We'll take the skyhook back down and meet you at the hideout. Just play it cool. My guardian angel will handle anybody taking an unhealthy interest. Oh, boy. The lift's not coming, is it? Oh, no, it's coming. It's just not empty. Valen. I can sense her presence. Time for plan B. What's plan B? Run and hope for a plan C. I'm tired of running from Valen. Well, I've got a few laps left in me. Even if you win and don't turn the Skyhook into crumbled wreckage, we'll still be surrounded by thousands of her flunkies. We have to go around. There is no around. There is out there. You want us to scale the exterior? Pretty much. Look, there's no time to stand here arguing, so I recommend lodging your complaints at a steady jog. Uh, it's not so bad. Just don't look down. Or consider your own mortality. Goodbye, Spewy. I'll never forget you. Okay, so remember Plan C? You never actually got to Plan C, Gold. Turns out Plan C is jump! Mother was here, again. She had the audacity to wear my face. And a punishment. Escaped. She knows I won't be bested the next time we meet. Ah, oh, empty threats all you've brought for me. I interrupted their little raid on the treasury. They couldn't have accomplished much in the time they were here. Perfect timing.
I'm not the one who has a problem showing up when I'm supposed to. Jeez, how long are you planning to hold that over me? The rest of your life, naturally. Thanks for keeping my worst half out of too much trouble. You two are a couple. Don't sound so surprised. It's complicated. Anyway, I think we've all had our fill of Vanden, and it's gonna get a lot less hospitable shortly, so... shall we? Let's get our haul back to Odessa. There's nothing like coming home from a job well done, especially when you've ruined a huge jerk's day in the process. Couldn't agree more. Come to think of it, our plan was lacking in one department. An actual escape route? It was the scenic route. Can't argue with the view. No, the one thing missing was a way to see the look on Arkin's face when he got the news. He doesn't have much of a face anyway. Ah, it's probably better in my imagination. Now, how about we get on with my favorite part and divvy up the loot? Already taken care of. You, Vet, and Dretch are already paid out. I took the liberty of skimming what you owe me off yours. Well, take all the fun out of it, why don't you? Your idea of fun is why your divvying privileges are still revoked. Just what did you do exactly? Ran out on me with the biggest score of our careers. And I regretted it ever since. Well, after the shine wore off. A little older, a little wiser, you know? Okay, maybe a lot older. It was a formative moment. The point is we're on to bigger and better things. Like melting a mint down into an ocean of liquid happiness. Now, however you want to spend your cut is none of my business. But if you want to, say, triple it, I might have a little something in the works. This money isn't ours. I don't mind taking it from Arkin. But I want nothing to do with it. Our goal was to fund the Alliance, not personal gain. Who says it can't be both? You just need a little ambition. Or, you know, you could try giving. Maybe just once. See what you've been missing. My share is going towards buying back some of the artifacts stolen from my people. Freeing slaves. Giving Twi'laks a better place in the galaxy. Honestly, we've got way more than we need for operations. It'd be good to have a plan for the excess. I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to triple our take. Just keep an eye on that investment. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure he coughs up every last credit. I kind of thought the point of this alliance was to do some good in the galaxy. But I guess I'm not really surprised. Everybody's got an angle. I understand your decision, Commander. I only ask that you not lose sight of the bigger picture while serving your ambition. Hey, more shares for you, am I right? It appears our business is concluded. Oh, I don't know. I figure you'll be seeing me around. You've got a handy little outfit here. Besides, I wouldn't want Hilo to get lonely. <laughs> as if. Right now, I think we've earned a long night of not thinking about tomorrow. This stuff sells for more than most freighters. Grab some glasses and get to know what success tastes like. Commander, Major Jorgen and Kaleo just landed. They're in the docking bay. So much for celebrating. Go ahead, we'll be right behind. I was 30 meters from a computer that would have given me the Gemini frequency. But no, your idiot brigade had to come in blasting. You were surrounded. We saved you. And blew the mission. If it wasn't for my backup plan, you would have died down there. Backup plan? Your escape route detonated a hospital. Enough. 
You both failed the mission. This alliance, and me. I don't get points for bringing Major Misfire home alive. Good to know for next time. It wasn't a complete loss. I grabbed something on the way out. My fire team covered you. Yeah, yeah. Point is, we lifted the data core from a security console right outside that hyperwave relay station. It's not the key to the Gemini frequency, but it does contain a massive file archive all about those droids. I'll put Scorpio to work sifting through the information. See if there's anything to salvage from this fiasco. Fiasco doesn't begin to cover it. If I can't trust you people to complete your missions, what good are you to me? It could have gone much worse, but we can't let this happen again. Major Jorgen disobeyed your orders not to follow Kaleo. In the Republic military, that kind of insubordination is grounds for court-martial. This isn't the Republic. I'm in charge, and I'm ready to pass judgment now. Understood, Commander. I accept your decision. You abandoned the Republic and defied my alliance. You've dishonored the Havoc Squad name. I can't trust you, and I won't have you disrupting my operations any further. So what? Toss me the brig, is that it? We don't have a brig. Good riddance. Can I go now? That's how I deal with people who fail me. No exceptions for anyone. Understood. Your point is well taken, Commander. I'll start with her fingertips, and work my way up. Take one knuckle at a time, then her hands. Do you remember, Mother? Not what she is now. We were the children. I remember her telling Father I was dangerous. How I had to be controlled. She always hated me. She never understood us. Oh, Father. She helped the Outlander steal our pretties. They took everything. Those things can be replaced. When all the worlds we've conquered find out what's happened, they'll think we're weak. Test us. I remain the greatest power the galaxy has ever seen. My enemies know what I'll do to them. If they cross me. Fear is always free. I will be generous with it. <laughs> 